Whilst UFOs and aliens might seem to be a modern phenomenon, dig a little deeper and you can find what looks to be a record of UFOs and aliens stretching back many hundreds of years, in paintings and artwork from around the world. Just a coincidence or real evidence of extraterrestrials? You decide as you take a look at our top 10 examples of UFOs in paintings. Our first entry is known as the Miracle of the Snow and was painted back in the 15th century by Massolino de Panisal. Now hanging in a church in Florence, it supposedly records an event in the 4th century when a wealthy merchant who had no heirs prayed for divine guidance one August night about what he should do with his money and was told in a dream that snow would fall in Rome the next day and he should build a church on that spot. Now if snow falling in Rome in August wasn't strange enough, you can see in the paintings numerous disc-shaped objects in the sky which bear a strong likeness to flying saucers. It could be that these are meant to represent clouds but if so why not paint them more realistically to actually look like clouds in the style of the rest of the painting. Are these clouds or perhaps are they evidence of UFOs or maybe even aliens controlling the weather? Next up is the painting called the Baptism of Christ, painted back in 1710 by the Dutch artist Art de Gelder. Now hanging in the Fitzwilliam Museum in Cambridge, England, this artwork depicts Jesus being baptised and the scene being illuminated by rays of light from a disc-shaped object hovering above them in the sky. This object appears to look very much like a UFO in the form of a metallic disc. Is this supposed to be just an image of the heavens opening up, or was this in fact actually indicating an alien presence at this historical event? Also, ask yourself why there are four rays of light coming from the objects in the sky. Why did the artist decide to paint four rays and not just one. Was it because this is what he actually saw? At number 8 in our list is a fresco wall painting by an unknown artist from the 1600s in the Svaishavelli Cathedral in Georgia. This painting depicts the crucifixion of Christ who is surrounded by onlookers. What is strange about this painting are the objects that are included in the top left and top right. You don't have to look too hard to see that these objects seem to be flying craft. Why did the artist paint these? Were these the spaceships of an alien civilization who witnessed the scene? And what about the three trails behind each of the objects? Were these meant to represent the landing gear of alien spaceships that were about to be retracted as they left the scene, or could they be the trails of booster rockets as the spaceships were flying away? In April of 1561, a large number of strange objects were reportedly seen in the skies above Nuremberg in Germany. This event was witnessed by a large number of people, and soon after, a newspaper article was produced which included an illustration and a report of what was supposedly seen in the skies. Known as the Nuremberg woodcut, the image created by Hans Glasser supposedly represents this scene and shows objects of different shapes apparently engaged in a large-scale battle. The report describes one of the flying objects as a round ball of partly dull, partly black ferrous colour, which sounds very much like a metallic looking UFO. The report also includes a description of small objects apparently coming out of larger objects. Could these be fighter craft coming out of a mothership, or could it be missiles and lasers being fired across the skies? Now you have to remember that flight had not been invented back in the 16th century, so it's no surprise this would have been a huge shock to the onlookers, and that the objects are shown in a stylized form in the woodcut as people of the time would not have known what these were. The newspaper report also tells us that some of the flying objects fell from the sun down upon the earth as if they all burned and they then wasted away on the earth with immense smoke. Were these UFO aircraft shot down in the battle? And finally, what about the large black object in the centre of the woodcut? You don't have to look too hard to see that this is very similar in shape to a modern day missile. At number six is an image from the French book by Jacques Legrand called The Book of Good Manners. It was originally written in the early 15th century and covered a range of subjects about life, death, the church and deadly sins. What's really interesting about this book though is that on one of the pages an illustration clearly seems to show a large round flying object in the sky. This object has an elaborate design and seems to be constructed of several different parts. Now it could be argued that what we're actually seeing is just an image of a large balloon, but we can discount this theory as balloons like this did just not exist at the time. So if it's not a balloon then what is it? Could it be that what we're actually seeing is some kind of UFO in the sky? And what are all those other golden objects in the sky? Could it be that these are more UFOs about to materialise into the foreground? In at number five is a painting which is said to have originated in the 17th century and is found in a Dominican monastery in Romania, the supposed birthplace of Count Dracula. This painting, which is the German text from Psalm 137, Israel put your hope in the Lord below it, depicts a metallic looking object descending out of the clouds above a building, leaving a flame-like trail behind it as it descends onto the scene. Some have argued that this is nothing more than just a representation of a shield in the sky. But if so, why would a huge shield be flying in the sky around a monastery? At number four in our list is a painting called The Glorification of the Eucharist, which was produced in around 1600 by Ventura Salimbeni and is found in the Church of St. Peter in Italy. Said to represent the celestial globe of creation, the painting appears to contain an object which looks very much like an out of place artifact. There's no denying that the spherical object above the clouds in the painting bears a strong resemblance to the first artificial satellite to orbit the Earth, the Russian PS-1, better known as Sputnik 1. It appears to have a metallic exterior and if you look carefully you can even make out what seem to be like joins between the metal plates on the object. What's more, it also has what look like two antennae coming out of the top of it. And could it be that the marking on the bottom left of the sphere is not actually a 
representation of the Earth, but instead it's actually a 3D representation of a camera or surveying device. In a number three is a painting that was produced by Carlo Crivelli in 1486, called the Annunciation with St. Emilius. In 1482, Pope Sixtus IV granted the town of Ascoli the ability to self-govern. As this news reached the town on the 25th of March, which was the Feast of the Annunciation, this altarpiece was commissioned to celebrate this event and was installed four years later. Now what is strange is that the painting appears to show a disc-like object with concentric circles in the sky, from which a golden beam of light, or could it be a laser, is shining down. Could it be that the object in the sky was actually a UFO, and the Annunciation painting is actually referring to the fact that what is being announced is that aliens and UFOs exist? Our number two entry is the fresco of the Crucifixion of Christ, which can be found above the altar in the Visconti di Carni Monastery in Kosovo. Believed to be painted around 1350, this fresco has been the subject of much debate due to the two objects in the painting, which look very much like UFOs. The top left and top right of the fresco, you can clearly make out what looks like to be some form of flying craft with a person inside each one. Now whilst it might be argued these are not people but actually angels coming down from the heavens, you can also make out other figures in the paintings near the spacecraft which have wings painted and are depicted as angels. So why do these other figures need to be inside a flying craft if they were angels? Why wouldn't they just be painted with wings? So if they're not angels then what are they? Are they simply representations of the sun and moon or is it possible that they are pilots of alien spacecraft observing the scene? And at number one in our list of top 10 UFOs in paintings is the 15th century painting called the Madonna with St. Giovannino. Whilst it's not absolutely certain who created this painting, what is certain that there's a very strange object hovering the sky in the distance behind the head of the Madonna. If you look closely, you'll see a man in the distance looking up at the object and a dog with him that appears to be barking at it. Could it be that the dog's extra senses are picking up a strange noise from the flying object that the human ear cannot hear? On closer inspection, this strange object looks very much like a UFO. It has a dome shape and seems to have golden rays coming out from all around the craft. Could this be an energy field to allow it to hover in the sky or perhaps it's a protective shield? And look at the position of the Madonna. She has her back to the craft and is kneeling as if in prayer. Could it be that she's trying to protect the children whilst at the same time praying for divine assistance? So that was our look at the top 10 UFOs in paintings. Do you think they're just symbolical images and have nothing to do with alien life? Or do you agree they could be real evidence of UFOs that have been witnessed over many hundreds of years? As always, let us know what you think. <laughs>